Hey, I'm here to see Mr. Bennett. Do you have an appointment? No, he just sent me a text message asking me to fix his computer. Mr. Banner would have notified me if he was expecting anyone. I'm sorry, you would just have to make an appointment. Okay, how about I call his cell phone and tell him that? What's your name? Lee. That Lee, his receptionist, is holding me up. It's personal assistant, not receptionist. And you didn't actually dial a real number. Yes, I did. It's ringing now. You only pressed six numbers. No, I didn't. I pressed seven numbers. Hello, Mr. Bennett. It's Joy. I'm downstairs, and your receptionist, Lee, isn't letting me up. Okay, yes. Okay, sir. Yes, I'll tell him. Wow, is he pissed. He said if you don't let me up, he's going to make your day miserable. That was the lamest pretend phone call I've ever heard. The truth is, many have tried to sleep by me every day. They can't. So give it up. All right, all right. I'm not here to fix this computer. I'd just like to talk... Did you know there is smoke coming out of that utility closet out there? You can stop now. S seriously, I think there's a fire in there. Damn it, spreading fast! And now you're just embarrassing yourself. Fine, I'll give you a hundred bucks to look the other way. I'll tell them I snuck for a window. Okay, I'm calling security. Why do you have to be this way? It's called loyalty, friend. I never undermine Mr. Banner's security. I never betray Mr. Banner's trust. Fine, okay, you win. I get it. I'll leave. Oh, by the way, I respect your loyalty. I wish more people were like you in this world. Good job. Bobby, you got another one.